This is Five and Friends. Five friends, five perspectives, all five. Hello and welcome to this week's episode, everyone. My name is Zan. Don't ask why, just put an I. And with me this week is Samra. Hey. And <laughs> Hello. Summer, you really sound so upset when you said, hey. <laughs> like, hey. Do I? Yeah, you is something wrong I again? I don't mean to. No. Is, it, is there something you're, you're not telling us? What was that? No idea what just happened, but okay. M- Maz is trying to have me tell no. my news. No, I feel like we should keep it disclosed, but it's up to you. I kind of like our little. Yeah, we, we'll, 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 yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let everyone know when it happens. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. You know, they, they don't, they don't want to cause. That. You don't want that tension on. You. All right, let's yeah. move on from this. Let's exactly. Move on. <laughs> so how's it going, everyone? How's there? How's life? Life is very busy. Well, yeah, busy. That's a very good word, right? Seems like everyone here is busy. The Bob and Friends is just losing people left and right here. We cannot make no. a consistent episode. No, we are making it. We Okay, for anybody that's asking why we're recording. Um, well, you guys don't know we're recording on a Sunday night, but we are. <laughs> and the reason why is because um, uh, Gossam was with us on Tuesday la- last week. And um, his mic just went. And then all his information that he even recorded at one point it was all gone so we are doing it again however he's not here today yeah so uh it's just the four of us then it's gonna be fun though we can survive just the four of us we can we are the best anytime. around da, 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 da. okay well <laughs> So, <laughs> anything else? Is that it? <laughs> what else has happened? Uh, I don't know what you want us to... Like, I mean, we you, well, week. you, Amna, we all know that you went on vacation. How was that? Yeah, how was yeah. that? Um, I went to Whistler, Canada. It looked um, pretty Whistler, epic. Canada. For those yeah. who don't know where Whistler is, it's close to Vancouver. It's two hours from Vancouver. Did you, did you drive there? there? So we flew to Vancouver and then we drove to Whistler. I feel like that's such a nice place to go to. It was. It was very beautiful. I saw waterfalls and glaciers Mm. and um, I went on hikes and ice, you know, relaxed in the pool, had a couple of drinks served to me. I relaxed. Maybe what kind? What kind of drinks? To you. Ginger Sprite on rocks. Raspberry daiquiris. Sprite on rocks. No, I don't. I don't take soda on the rocks. First Zandos. Of all, I don't call it. First of all, I don't call it on the rocks because it's just ice <laughs> and it's not a cocktail. So why would I call it that? Uh, Zan calls it that. Yeah, and I'm saying it's obnoxious. How's it obnoxious? What do you, what do you, <laughs> it's exactly what I say. What it is. It's. I'm ginger. I'm drinking ginger no, on the rocks. More sophisticated than it is. You're just drinking ginger ale for your tummy. Oh. Hey, I think it sounds great. Right? See? <laughs> I'm gonna start. You no, know, I think you're just rock. defending Zan because you feel like bad because I'm attacking. Zan. No. No, that's actually not it. I think it's funny that he says ginger ale on the rocks because it is so stupid that it's there funny. is no. It is stupid. <laughs> I don't think it's not funny. But I'm not gonna call it Sprite on the Rock. Why not, not though? Thing. But like, if you're at a public setting like that, like if you're at a place that like has a bar or something, you would call it. You wouldn't say. Can I have- no, can I just have a Sprite with ice? Because I'm not yeah, getting. Like, a- no, but it doesn't sound That's cool. You want to. You want to imp- Man, you know what, Zan? Let's go out, <laughs> and you can go, and I would dare you to order ginger ale on the rocks to the bartender and see his face. <laughs> Except here's the deal. Here's the deal. You have to record it because I don't want to hear like, yeah, I did it, and then like, if I'm not present for this, then. I promise to the viewers of our, our social media, I will go out with Zan and he'll order it and I'll record the reaction. The reaction is going to be very idea. subpar because it's nothing. Is He's going to be like, okay, cool. No, you know, they're going to be, they're going to be like, you mean with ice? 
And Zan no, they're like, not going to say yeah, that. They're going to be like, okay, cool. Yeah, they will. They don't have time. No, they're, they're, to, like, I, don't, I don't know if they'll... <laughs> I don't know if they'll actually say you mean with eyes. I think they'll give a look for sure, though. I think they'll look at them like you weirdo. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't think they're gonna not that. serve it to you. Like they're obviously gonna serve it no, to you. They're gonna serve it. They just look at him weird. How? You know, so you know what would be weird if I went to Starbucks and was like, "Can I have iced coffee with not too many rocks?" <laughs> <laughs> That'd be I weird as hell. That. You know what? That should be your thing. <laughs> Can we do this? Can we go to all these different places and figure out how to say rocks in, in our drink? <laughs> I think we need to do this and then record yes. it. Yes. I'm going to make that a train now for me. I'm going to do it. I, it might go viral. <laughs> Can I have iced coffee on the rocks, please? Not too much, though. Yeah, I dare you. <laughs> yeah, I dare you to do that. Iced coffee on the rocks. Coffee. So dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You know like, what? I support it because it's funny, but it's I don't support it because you would never say it in public. <laughs> so why would you expect me to say it in public? No, but here's the deal. I'm not gonna believe Zan if he just tells us like I we have to be there to believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll record it. I'll record the it. The next time the next time I visit, the next time we all hang out and we go to like McDonald's or something, I'm gonna be like an app. No, no, you gotta do it at a real place. I don't want no BS at McDonald's drive through. I want you to order it. <laughs> like what? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. anything. Get it. Yeah, like we have to walk. If you go to McDonald's and order it, then we have to walk in. No, no, no. Not McDonald's. He has to go to a real bartender who actually serves something on the rocks <laughs> and be like, I, like, we'll go to a pub and the waiter and we'll say, hey, can we get a ginger ale on the rocks? And they'll be like, okay. They'll be weirded out. <laughs> All right, I, all right. Out. I'll hold you. I'm down. I'm down. I have no shame. If I win this bet. If I win this bet, you owe me. Uh... But the bet is that nobody's gonna find it weird, correct? Right. Okay. He thinks it's normal. I think it's not normal. I think it's gonna become normal when Zen starts the trend. Okay. Hashtag on, on the, the rocks. rocks. <laughs> okay. I... <laughs> Wait, I kind of want that to be it. A... That's our next Instagram post. On the rock. No, no, but we, we cannot. Uh, we need to do it only when Zan does these rock things. We, we should make it a challenge. Hashtag on the rocks challenge. <laughs> and you have to order everything on the rocks, even like your food. Yes, but Zan has to be the first. That's what I'm saying. This could become viral. See? Zan, you're going to make it viral. And then I'm going to be like, oh, hey, hey, it's cool. <laughs> no, I won't say it's cool. I still think it's dumb. Just because something's trending doesn't mean I think it's not. Yeah, I don't like. I don't support it, Sumra. Tumra. Tumra. Well, uh, you know. So speaking of trends, um, I heard that you have a weird story with Instagram. Okay, so this has to go back with Whistler. So oh, no. I went. I like saw these. I saw these beautiful, beautiful landscapes. Okay, like you guys saw the pictures. Like they were really. They were gorgeous. nice. Very nice. And I have more pictures, and I'll send them to you, and I'll post them. But. <clears throat> I posted up on Instagram because I'm like, okay, people should see this. It's like so beautiful. Like I've never seen landscapes like this ever. Post it. The least amount of likes. The least amount of likes. I post a picture of my face or like my, I, did, I posted a picture of my door that I decorated. Like not my door, but my sister's door that I decorated for fall. And that got more likes than frig, friggin' a, a, a waterfall with a rainbow. Maybe I don't no, no, but no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. It de probably depends on when you post, what time you post it too. The no, day. I posted it. I I posted it at peak time. When's peak time? Three p.m. What day? I don't know what day, but I posted it at three p.m. peak time. But you have to I remember, know. you're three p.m. over. Yeah. There. No, I didn't post it in Canada. I posted it here when I got back. Wait, oh, three p.m. I don't think that's very peak time because I feel like three that's... three p.m. is peak time because that's when people start going at the end of the day. They start going on Insta. Are you sure? I think it was more like five p.m. where it's like peak. No, I heard the best time to post an Instagram post is um, early morning because people always check their phones right when they wake up, or mm. or. Late night, because that's, that's people check their phones late night, like around nine, eight, ten, something like that. Because no one's doing it, especially on the weekdays. Time, but I guess, how about this? How about this? How about I do a little test and I post a picture yeah. tomorrow morning, 
on my Insta, and I'll come back next week and I'll tell you if it got more likes. Yeah, I'll try that. Landscape. Try that. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we need to test this. Yeah, I no. do think though that like that <laughs> that for some reason people don't want to see like they don't care too much about that stuff. But why? You know, statistically, statistically, I know um Sundays are the best times to post anything on Instagram. Sundays are the best times. Well, I'm just saying though. I don't think they care, Sammy. I think people. I see more likes for people like, you know, with the like a picture of themselves, than a picture of like, hey, here's my glacier runoff water that I'm posting. Well, it also depends, I think, on the hashtag. Did you use any good hashtag? I don't see that. The I issue. Okay, so my, it's, no, 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 no. But I don't. My first of all, my my Instagram is private, so no one could see it anyway. I'm talking about likes in comparison to the likes I've gotten already. Like my personal stuff. You see what I'm trying to say? Mm, so I don't ever hashtag on Insta because I don't need to because it's a private pro- profile. Mm-hmm. Um, but I get more likes on, I think, dumber pictures than this stuff. And I don't get really? it. Why? Yeah, I don't know why people prefer, it... like, I guess Insta, Wait. they want to see selfies and, like, pictures of gonna... photos instead of, like... Wait, did you, did you post, you said a, you posted a picture of your face, right? No. I posted a picture you said a selfie, of right? a, a waterfall. And what was the other one that no, you posted? she said, I'm she saying said she in... posted a picture of, uh, like, decorating Bina's door. Oh, I thought you said you posted a picture of, like, a selfie. Well, a selfie gets... Like, I guess I can't be like, well, my face is uglier than a waterfall, but it is. <laughs> so it makes sense. But, <laughs> but if my face technically is uglier than a, a waterfall. Not to other rainbow, people. People that's prob- what it is. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want to like the waterfall over my face? I don't know. I feel like you know? that's just how, like. Instagram is like design, like it's just like it's not some for people landscape beautiful photography. Yeah, if someone sees like let's just for example, you're scrolling down, you see a picture of a mountain, like yeah, you're gonna you're not gonna look at it as much as you're gonna see a a girl posting a selfie, and see how oh it's how so it is. That's I how I hiked up a mountain. I, I should get some recognition that I saw a waterfall. That's how that's how freaking that's how it society is these days. These days. That's, how, that's the side. That's how they they want it. That grinds my gears. Don't you think that's like I sh- I don't you think that's weird, you guys? I think it's just because I feel like it's like if you're scrolling through. Yeah, it is weird. It is weird. No, yeah. It is. So me and Sam are on the same page. It's weird that like beautiful natural shots, like real nice photography. Like I actually am really proud of these pictures. I'm not trying to be like weird, but like I think they're really beautiful. And, like, I went to great heights, literally, to take these pictures. <laughs> <laughs> and He goes, literally. I, get, I did, though. I, like, it's 3,000 feet up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, so, like, I'm taking these really awesome pictures, and people would rather see a, a dank selfie. And no, like it's just that. because nobody cares about being natural anymore. I, I, feel, I just feel like if you're scrolling through an Instagram, right, and you're seeing photos after photos, you're more inclined to stop at someone's face than you would be at a background picture. Yeah. You know, if you're looking at trees, you're not going to stop at that, you know? That's why it, and well, look at Just think of marketing, just, just like the I'm way how marketing my... works. Like, they're not, like, when you're marketing something, you're not going to show, like, a blank, you know, I don't know. You, can, you won't show trees and be like, hey, look. No, 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 no. Zan, Zan has, like, literally the perfect thing. Because, like, for example... Um, when you see commercials and all that stuff, like magazines, you see like, and they advertise and market about like girls in bathing suits and stuff like that. That gets the most attraction. Am I not, am I right or wrong? Like, I that get gets what the, you're saying, but like, you know what I mean? it's just weird. Like, very I'm weird. Not, Don't get me wrong. I see, I see what you're saying, but I just think it's not right. Mm. Like, oh yeah, of course. I'm not saying that I sh- like if someone looks really nice, of course I'm gonna like that picture. But if someone is like, I hiked up a mountain and look at the views I saw, I would like that picture because that's well, really awesome. Well, they're my friend. Yes, yes, absolutely. If they're my friend, I would do that. Do you like random people's selfies over like? I no. guess you over natural like beautiful wonders. I mean, I maybe don't. I didn't take. Maybe it's not a world wonder. Maybe it's not impressive enough. Maybe that's it. 
Maybe the views I saw were impressive to me, but not to other people. Maybe. Very possible. But it could be statistically, too. We got to test that out. Next week, we can talk about yeah. What, yeah. Uh, how many likes we had in both of the photos that we post on Instagram. Yeah, I guess. Does that sound I lit? I'll get many likes. <laughs> I'll send you. I'll. I'll, I'll po- okay, how about this? Tonight, I'll post the picture on Fob and Friends of the of the picture I'm going to post on my private. Yeah, and, and the see what happens. And our friends of Fob, the friends of Fob and Friends will see uh, depict which one. We'll see the pic yeah. that I chose for my my experiment. Exactly. Let's yeah. see what happens. Bum, bum, Choose bum. wisely, friends. Choose wisely. Don't make yeah. me get disappointed. So that was my qualm. I mm-hmm. thought it was really interesting to me. Qualm. Yeah. <laughs> So I think that's sh- that that I think that's it right there. Our title of the episode. That was my qualm. No, I think the title <laughs> of the episode should be hashtag on the rocks. Yeah, I was about to say on the rocks challenge. Are we gonna call it a challenge? And I'm gonna post I gotta post up. No, yeah, we're gonna make it a challenge. And I'm gonna post up stuff and be like, Can I get a spaghetti See, hashtag? That's, on okay, the rocks? um no, that's the spaghetti on the rocks. No, I'm taking it to a new level, Zan. I'm gonna take it there. No, because I Wait, no. wait, what'd she say? Not you're just being Can silly. Not you're... <laughs> okay, now that's, now that's, yeah. That's, <laughs> I'm gonna be that's... silly with it. Come on, no, I'm not. Like, water that doesn't make any on sense. The rocks. It's, on, it's supposed not. to make it's sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. You have to do like. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not letting it make sense. I'm gonna go crazy with it. You guys can stop. I'm gonna, you sound like me right now. I don't want to challenge anymore. I don't even care because y'all don't even post up on the social media. So it's my reign. Okay, why do you have to break the fourth wall right there? <laughs> I'm just break the fourth wall. We've broken the fourth wall when we told the audience that Cross had technical difficulties. So I'm just saying that if I control the social media, hi Fob and friends of Fob and friends, your Fob and friend Amina posts everything. I'm posting whatever I want with this challenge. Take it. You know what though? Can I say something? I don't know about Maz or Zan. Or Gotham, <laughs> because you guys are out and about quite a bit, and so you probably get some cool photos here and there instead of Snapchatting. Which Moz, I don't even see your Snapchats because I don't blocked. post but... any stories. I'm telling you, I really do I not. Like always, I like to always put that out there with Moz, but <laughs> you, you know, Zan Snapchatting cool things or whatever. Y'all don't send it to me. And, and you can send, but I honestly don't ever do anything. Like, I don't. So I don't know what I can put up. I don't know, Samra. If you get a coffee and it looks pretty, put it in the sunlight. But I haven't even been drinking coffee. Oh, I wonder I why. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> mine. On but it was a really Instagram. cool photo, though. That was no filter. Hashtag no filter. Why don't you post it on Fob and Friends? You need to post it on Fob and Friends. And if I found something cool, I, I mean, if I, if I was out and about and something cool, I, I would totally post. The only Unless reason I'm saying me. that is that the friends of Fob and Friends should see what other people are doing except me. Why am like, poor them. They're probably like, I'm sick of Amina. I'm sick of myself. Mm-hmm. Well, well, now they know it's you, but they didn't know it was you. They before. knew it was me. I've said it before. <laughs> Well, we also we also I'm don't like pimp post. out our own like Instagrams. If you want to follow us there, you can see us individually. You know. Oh, wow. <laughs> more followers there. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna use this as a platform to get more followers. That's the goal. <laughs> That's so messed up. Yeah, follow you know, me. Follow me on Instagram mzrmobine31 and my prof- you know professional what? Instagram mozmobine. You're gonna. No, we're not following. Our individual until we get a good amount of followers on our Fob and friends. Nobody follow those two. Follow me on MZR Morbin31 on Instagram right there. <laughs> <laughs> follow me on Twitter at, at 2 plus 2. I love that one. <laughs> two. Sorry. For yes. Guys, I'm not, um, I have a photo oh, I'm going to post. You guys, I, um, I want to ask you how you guys are getting ready for the, for this fall season because i mentioned it that i decorated my sister's door and we put we got firewood Ugh. logs and we put them against her door and we put like mums like flowers mums and pumpkins and like lanterns so it's like very fall and we have hay bales it's really pretty 
And I posted it on Fab and Friends, so yeah. you guys saw it. I'm so ecstatic for the fall. Like this, I think the fall is probably one of my favorite seasons. My summer, I, I like summer too. I like summer, but I think it's just way too hot. So I think like spring and fall like my favorites. I hate spring. I don't like spring. It depends on if you have I like. I have, yeah, Zang have gets queasy in the springtime. Queasy? <laughs> queasy or wheezy? No, queasy. <laughs> I'm getting nauseous. Nauseous? <laughs> Sounds like he's pregnant. No, I'm nauseous then. <laughs> I get wheezy. <laughs> I get queasy. Queasy. That's what Maz insinuated Maz said, here. Maz said queasy. Queasy. Um, no, fall is definitely, I think, my favorite season, too. I love the clothes. I love the atmosphere. I love the holidays. There's only one. What are you talking about? Can we talk about that something serious right now? Can, yeah. I, can I bring up a topic? What? Um, what do you guys think about the oh iPhone God. X? What? I really want to hear you. I want to say that was the most jarring transition that I've ever felt when it came to topics. Okay. Second, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I have a history second, of doing that. Second, this <laughs> the phone sucks. There's no need. Whoever buys a thousand dollar phone is just stupid. No, but Zan, you're wrong right there. I, I was talking to uh, people about this. If you think about it. A thousand dollar phone that is without a contract. I, well, I understand that, but you're still even when. So if you if you. If you buy like an iPhone seven right now, that's gonna be like seven hundred dollars, um, like without a contract unlocked. So if you get the iPhone X within contract, it's probably gonna be the same price that you always get your phones. Maybe a little hundred dollars, maybe more expensive, but that's I how it is. So. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure they're gonna raise the I, price. I think I've heard because there's no way they can sell it at the same price as the other iPhones. There's no way they're gonna have to increase it. How much did you buy? The your same price as the iPhone, iPhone 7. Then? It was 7 Well, it was yeah, before taxes and everything it was 750. So, I like I understand where you're coming from. Like taxes like 1000 bucks. No, it's, it's this is right. Apple we're talking about. Do you have you heard of are the other uh, iPhones lowering their prices? That's and, true. Yeah, they do not lower price prices, prices at all. Unless unless like you like unless a new phone comes out obviously like the the old phone gets decrease with price but yeah, nothing yeah. else gets decreased. Decreases price. basically yeah. for There's the people who don't know for the people who don't Apple. know what an iphone if you have if you're living living on a rock i guess it's the iphone x is like this new phone that's coming out that like the i the iphone 8 and 8 plus i guess what it's called is coming out but then they're gonna skip nine because seven eight nine and um they're gonna go straight to ten <laughs> on reddit. Uh, you know where you no, got that no. joke no, i got it on reddit Ellen, Ellen Reddit. <laughs> but Ellen, no, I'm I don't probably so. <laughs> Reddit got it from Ellen. Ellen copies a lot. That's another. Okay, that's a topic that I want to talk about in a future episode of how a lot of things are being stolen from Reddit and they don't give it give it the proper uh, credit that they deserve. Well, how can you give Reddit a website? proper do yeah you give that person who posted it and that person might have thing. posted it as a we don't know but most of the time you don't know no, no but you like a lot of the, the we'll discuss this later but a lot of the videos that you see on ellen usually has been posted by the genuine person that posted on reddit you know and it's like they don't they sometimes bring it bring the guest onto the show but most of the time they don't and it's like oh look at this cute video and we're just gonna profit off of it and it's like <laughs> All right, let's but basically the iPhone is essentially the i it's just like the iPhone 8 but in, but it just has edge to edge like it's there is no borders around the screen it's like the screen goes all the way towards the edge of the phone and that's basically the only thing and they don't have the home button that's it it's all glass and it's all glass also well that was that's also the iPhone 8 it's all glass i i just don't like I just feel like they improve. I, I, I mean, I have iPhone. I like iPhone. I have an iPhone six though. I'm still same. I'm, I'm old. Same. But I like the iPhone six. I like my earphones. But heard. Um, had, but what I don't like is that they never improve upon what people want. Like I give the example I gave it with Summer today. I'm like, why don't they give us group FaceTime? Oh my god, that's like such a huge thing that they have to start. Like, why yeah, don't they do they that? I don't give a shit. But the that thing the is, screen, that's how they sorry, hype it up. That the screen is larger. That's how they hype care, it up. I don't care, but like, I know, but it's not useful. So I'm buying something that hasn't really been improved in the actual phone. You know what I mean? They're like, oh, the camera's better. It's like, great, thanks, but you know, 
you know I, what Apple does that's okay. very smart? It's just like, you know how Samsung and all those phones, they have already had face recognition and all that types of stuff? They basically let those type of, those companies do those features first and see how those, um, how people, consumers like that. And they just like build off of that. So like they're probably going to do like face, face, um, group FaceTime later in the future. And just with this face recognition within the, within the iPhone X, I think they're just like going to be improved upon like the Samsung re- face recognition too. I don't One know. thing that makes me feel, oh, sorry, it goes in. One thing that uh, makes me feel, not that I don't like iPhone, I do, but I do think iPhone, it really does cheat out its customers sometimes. Oh, definitely. But, I, I mean, I, that being said, I have iPhone. That's, that's how Apple's the, num- the first company in, like, history with being worth more than $1 trillion. But <laughs> that's crazy. one thing is that <laughs> iPhone or Apple is really big in the United States. It's huge. It's not as big in other places. Android is bigger in other places. Everywhere you see the iPhone. iPhone. See, the thing is, right? Now, here. this is kind of going, I'm taking a back step here. Because I want to go back to the face ID. The face, like, mm-hmm. the FaceTime thing. Because it's like, like, I've, I've always been an Android guy, right? I've Since day one, I refuse to buy Apple products. Because I just don't, I don't see the, the value in them. Like, it's not as good. Like, if if other products are better when they what, of what they do, why, why do you want to go to a product that doesn't have it? That's my philosophy. But, uh, like that samsung doesn't though uh well name one thing iMessage. iMessage. whatsapp who cares no i don't no. want to download an app I don't want to no, no 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 listen i don't want to download another app that's the lame i don't i don't that's the lamest it's excuse no it takes away that's so lame when i when i have traveled iMessage has been so helpful and i don't want to freaking download an app that takes space on my that's... phone when i could have iMessage but here... and i can Here's the other That's thing on the, that, what, what? Before you say iMessage, download WhatsApp. Here's a perfect example. iMessage, you get it direct. It's like getting a, it's like, um, you get it direct right away. People, and it happens, we've had it in our own group here, they will turn off or turn off the message like, um, like WhatsApp or, or GroupMe or, or Google Hangouts. Like, yes, guys, I'm going to be very honest. I have uh, a few uh, chat groups on WhatsApp. They're like silented because I don't want to even look Keep at it. Keep opening that app. Yeah. No, it's like it's those I little things that, that, yeah, you might think that it's not, it's lame and stuff like that. But those are the little things that people like attack the most. It's, it's like, yeah. And it's like, it's inconvenient, Zan. You say, oh, you group me, but it's really like those little things, like Ma said, that inconvenience. Yeah. It really makes like when you really just takes it over. Can I just speak? Can I? Well, see. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead when it comes to my, when it comes to everyone that I talk to, ev- I I never use normal texting. I've oh, I prime like my, my most used messaging app is Messenger and WhatsApp because all of my friends are on that. So it really makes no difference for me because I don't normally text anyone anyway. But the only I've got you normally text. But all my other friends have the other app, so like I'm not missing out on anything. It's, it's pretty seamless to me. Yeah, but the thing is, Dan, though, it's like. You you are one of those people that has an a Google phone, right? Yeah. Mostly everyone that I talk to has an iPhone. It gets really annoying to talk to you. How? Text. Because it's like it's so lagged, it's so weird. No, like Zen, you have to realize you you have not experienced an iPhone yet. You've always been an Android fan. I've been both I sides. I liked Android. Yeah, I've been on both sides. Those little things, as in just eye messages, you don't want to see a green message instead of a blue. Those are like that's what people well, like like the most. It doesn't bother me so much. It's that the color doesn't bother me. It's the no. I'm just saying, just like for if example, I need to get in touch with somebody, like I know that I can I message them if they have an iPhone. I know I can message them right away. They're gonna get in touch. It's a perfect example. A perfect example again is when we were stuck in. Um, the the UAE uh, with Gossam, right? That whole situation. A perfect example. Nobody had an iPhone. Wi-Fi was if I do you know who I literally I was texting, calling, calling anybody that could pick up a phone in any situation. Nobody was. The first person I I texted with my um or messaged or whatever word you want to use was one of the first the only person who actually got back to me in the seven hour time frame that we were stuck like trying to figure something out was my dad 
Why? Because I literally had Wi-Fi and was like, I message, bam. Because not everybody is constantly looking at WhatsApp, opening the app. That is the truth though. That is absolute truth. I will message you sometimes and on Messenger, you sometimes, and it's happened, and you won't get back to me for like a possible day it's or messenger. so. Messenger, it's like an app. It's it, different than it's And if it I don't have, like, like not everybody thing. downloads Messenger. Not everybody has WhatsApp. Not everybody has those apps, right? I didn't even have um, WhatsApp till I would say last year. I haven't had it before that. Um, that being I said, I downloaded it for Pakistan and then I deleted it because right. I didn't need it. That being like that being said though, Android your phone has a lot of awesome things about it though. Yes, that are absolutely. better than iPhone. That I completely think out like out like iPhone needs to catch up. Like it's just one thing though that like we're talking about you know what i'm trying to and say and those those one things that uh, those are it's like a very and important thing too i but, i was honestly today thinking maybe i should go get a google phone because my iphone like i'm like i don't want to have to get bluetooth earphones and stuff like that let me defend, yeah, like, that's stupid. Let me defend something here because you're because the way i got the the message that i'm getting here is that you guys are making it sound like it's such a pain in the butt to open up another app because you don't happen to get like do you not get notifications on your phone like it, it would act the same way as any other text message right so it just like if it happened if you happen to get a notification from whatsapp what makes that any different from getting a notification in iMessage you're just going to open up the app you're going to text it back and then you go bloop so see but then it's like I don't I, I don't have it turned off like that's why maybe I respond faster on whatsapp and messenger like because it's like I don't know because I just don't feel like because it's because I'm reading here, right? I looked it up. It's There is currently more than 700 million iPhone users worldwide, right? 700 million people. There's 700 million people who also have downloaded WhatsApp. So you're telling me it's just the same amount. Like, I'm, I am, you know, it's like there is no difference. Like, I, if I do, if I have WhatsApp, most people that I don't know will also have WhatsApp, you know? So I hate WhatsApp. I, I personally like Facebook Messenger a lot better, but like I like Facebook Messenger better too. Yeah, but like WhatsApp is really annoying with downloading content. It takes up a lot of space. Yes, it bothers me. It's very it, that those are issues too. It does. Messenger it, it, is good though. I use Messenger a lot. I barely use Messenger. I barely use Messenger. I don't know. I just feel like you like before like I say I just want you to experience an iPhone and how you use an iPhone compared to an Android first before judging how oh, downloading an app is so lame. Like, it's, 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 it's the little things that matters. I had a Droid too. I liked the Droid. If, if the Droid had an iMessage-esque feature, I probably would, Amna and I were talking about this, we'd probably go back to a Droid. Exactly. So like, the thing is, but 100%. yeah, see, like, but people move from an Android to an iPhone for a reason like because a it's so convenient as so many people yeah have that iMessaging. As convenient platform. as you guys are making it out to be. That's what my, that's my personal opinion. I don't think it's that Maybe. convenient because I feel like I didn't think it's I had convenient it. to have the app, the WhatsApp app on but, your phone. But, you know, but again, Zan, you're saying... You're saying this to three people who have had a droid. Yeah. And experienced and we find a droid. It convenient. And 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 versus an Apple. You have not experienced an Apple yet, so you're you're basing your opinion off of no experience. That's true. Yeah. It's uh, but in the end of the day, even if I do go on iPhone, I'm there I don't like I'm still going to use the same apps that I've used on the Android. I'm going to still what use you WhatsApp. Think, that, but that exactly. I don't that's what ever you use. I don't like. I don't like normal texting. I like but messenger. Thing, you just, what yeah, thing you have an ex <laughs> yeah, it's not normal texting. It's not the same. It's it's very not. It's like not the same as iMessage is so completely different than text message. You can do so much more within an iMessage than a regular text. Mm. You just have to experience that's both. The thing. You haven't experienced iMessage. Like, have, the, honestly, the... Nor will I, because I'm going to stick with Android forever. Bah! Well, yeah, no, no, don't, don't get me wrong. Wait, don't get me wrong. Like, obviously... Your phone is awesome, Zan. <laughs> yeah, don't get me wrong. Google thing really is. One sec. Don't get you wrong, what, Moss? But, no, but, like, the the uh, the thing with Zando is, like, I don't think it's so much the iPhone or... If, if Google made iPhone, right, if Google made it, he would get it. It's the fact that it's made from Apple. So it's not the actual phone that bothers you. It's it's the company that makes it. 
Yeah. But see, the thing is, I have nothing against Apple. I just never found their products to be that great. Like, like I I have an iPad 2, or used to have an iPad 2. It was it's an awesome piece of tech. I love the tablet. It's it, I understand that every other app in the world is compatible with the iPad. I I just like you, there's not that many features in it, so it's like I don't really care for it then, you know. And it's the same thing with. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, like you, I, I just I just think that like I. I to it. I just think Sorry, like. No, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, I just. Go ahead, go ahead, Monty. Sorry, sorry. No, sorry, yeah, I, I was just think I just think that like. You could, you can still have that same, uh, like that same opinion within Android after like using an iPhone. Don't get me wrong. If you still like the Android, go ahead, do what you got to do. But you just have to experience like actually being surrounded by like so many iPhone friendly users, and like, especially when it comes to iMessage. I think that's like for me, the only way I contact within my friends and my group of people is not even iMessage anymore. I just FaceTime them. Like, I don't even text anymore. Yeah. Like, FaceTime is FaceTime so much is more like easier to talk great. to. Yeah. I love FaceTime. I love Wait, FaceTime. Like, you actually use the, like, you actually show your face and everything? Yeah. It's so much yeah, easier. Yeah, I like Why, FaceTime. The thing- I don't like that. It's so much I like easier. FaceTime. I don't, I, I never liked the fact of, I don't, like, I don't like, I don't even like Skype or anything. I don't, I don't understand that. See, the Skype thing is, is Skype is annoying. different, though. Skype is different than FaceTime. FaceTime is... You have to, like, connect. Yeah. Skype I don't know what I'm missing out here. It sounds like Apple is some serious business here. I don't no, know. I'm, there's, there's a reason. Though yeah. I, though I said to Summer today, I'm like, if Android could figure out a way to get around the iMessage patent uh-huh. and, like, could figure out a way to go through, like, over Wi-Fi messaging and have, like, cool features, yeah. I would switch to an Android. Because other than iMessage, which is honestly, like, I don't... I use all the apps as I would use on the Android. It's all the same, but iMessage just tips it over for me and makes me want to use it because I, I mean, I text a lot and I use iMessage and it's like become an integral way. Like I use that Bitmoji sticker constantly. Blech. Like I would stick the stickers on. And I like being obnoxious with it. Like, you know, or the emojis or this. I know it's like lame, but it's just how it's just so ingrained with how I text. It'd be weird to go to an Android now with just with that feature. No, yeah. Other than yeah. that, everything else is the same. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I don't think that's the one. FaceTime and iMessage is what stops me from going. Yeah, FaceTime. I no. I think yeah. I feel like slowly people have been just like contacting within FaceTime. Like when I call, I don't call anyone. I just FaceTime them. It's just so much easier and like user friendly. I think that's why group. But again, Group FaceTime is like such a huge thing that we want because it's so much easier to talk to people. Yeah, but then again, my whole thing is, you have to, you can't, you can't like be like, oh, um, you know, I hate Italy, but you've never been to Italy, so how do you know you hate Italy? No, yeah, well, yeah, of course. No, but yeah. that's not, I mean, I technically used the iPad. That's, I mean, technically, I've used that message in the past too. What no, the iPad, iPad is completely different. <laughs> from the ipad you can't do you know what i'm saying it's like, not iMessage ipads are not iPad. portable too ipads are not portable like, like a not cell phone like, yeah mm-hmm. it, it, can't. it doesn't it can't matter it's not as in the switch anytime no, soon no no yeah. no all i'm saying is you, you can only you can only say what you say until you've experienced it once and, th- and then by all means say what you want to say and be like you know i think it's this i think it's that but until you experience something whether it's phones food no, I feel like see, the issue is that okay. If I if I'm wanting to use an iPhone, I I do not feel like getting a contract with an iPhone. Like, Zan, can you say that again? You're sounding really like underwatery. Can you say that again? I can't understand you. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, that's better. Like, <laughs> I'm just see, saying. If I've been friends, are still going to th- through technical difficulties, guys. So like, don't worry. We'll get that fixed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keep going. <laughs> I'm saying that if I want to ever do that type of experiment where I try an iPhone, I am not going to buy a contract just to try an iPhone for two years. And if I don't like it, then have to spend an extra whatever amount of money to go back into Android. So someone should lend me the iPhone. Yeah, well, that's what I would say to you. Someone... Someone give you the opportunity. If anybody has like an iPhone that they don't use, like a current one, don't give them like an iPhone four because that obviously is gonna be that's completely yeah. that's terrible. No, Zan, Nothing honestly, is compatible like, anymore. Honestly, like if you want to try the iPhone, try my iPhone six when I get the iPhone eight, 
You can try it and see how it is. Because iPhone six. He'll have it. I I yeah. ju- I I in, okay. So there's just, so we can tie a bow on this convo. I just feel like. In the end of the day, I'm use I I'm, statements. <laughs> in the end of the day, I'm still not going to use iMessage. I'm still going to be using WhatsApp Messenger. <laughs> like it's just not going to change. You say that, but I don't yeah, believe I, it. Yeah, I don't believe yeah, it. I do not, I do I not contact that. anyone like that. I don't. I don't. I like WhatsApp it's and Messenger. Not like a text, but it's not like a text. So I don't. Get, just so watch. okay, explain to me that then. <laughs> Let's open this box again. Okay. No, we can't tie it so nice. Use it to know it. We tied this box up so nicely. Let's just lay it. Let's dig up a hole. Let's put it in. Let's lay it to rest. But listen, listen. Here's the deal. If you ever, if you ever use Maz's phone, you'll understand. Uh, See, for example, point, for me, box is being sealed. Oh, for me, like for example, like I don't have a lot of space on my iPhone. A lot of other people have the same problems. You don't want to download another app to just to text through. If you just have an iPhone, that's a problem though with iPhone. Exactly. That's a problem with iPhone. Yes, it is. That's something that. It, I would want to go to Android for because I feel like they never have to deal with space as much as we do. We, yeah, I yes, always have problems true. with space. Constantly, like, there's not enough space. Even though that trend's going away from Android, too, because of you guys with your iPhone users, everyone feels like the iPhone are much more superior, so all of these Android phones are now becoming like the iPhone, and I don't like that. Hey, that's not our fault. That is... Do their thing. Nobody, nobody told them what to do. So, because, like, for example, the new, pi- so I have the Pixel, Android Pixel, right? They're gonna come out with the Pixel Two, and they already are speculating that there's not gonna be any headphone jack. Who, and who started that trend? <laughs> Damn iPhone! I uh, hate it. Listen, we hate, hate that. It. Nobody, everybody. That's why they put the headphone jack back. I think in the eight. No, I don't think did they, they did. really. I don't, I don't think they did. I thought they put it back. Or okay, we'll look it up. We'll look it up. But the yeah, thing we'll is, like, up. don't you realize, like. One in one change in the, like Apple does, like for example, headphone jacks, that changes the whole outlook on headphones now. Like headphone companies, they make specific ones just for people who have iPhone yeah, seven that's or so dumb higher. Now. Like, but I that's how Apple that. controls. Everything. Get off this conversation. This is, we're talking too much about iPhone. But yes, no, yes, yeah, it's it's that. really it's. I don't like that idea either. I don't like the fact that all these companies are now doing Bluetooth because I don't like Bluetooth headphones. I like normal wired ones. Yeah, personally. Can I, can I change the subject? Can I change the subject? Yes, please change the subject. Can we talk about the fact that the Emmys are tonight? Is anyone talking about that? Nope. Does, I does don't anyone really care. Have anyone that, <laughs> you don't have any TV show that you want that you think should win an, an Emmy? Hmm. I don't even know. Who, I don't even. I honestly don't even know who's been nominated. I don't. I bet Game of Thrones is not. No, they're not. That, oh. No, that they're not. They're, they have to wait till next year because they came out late this year. Oh. So in the Game of Thrones, no, Game of Thrones should be definitely a winner. Like it shouldn't be not even go to a vote. Even though I heard a lot of criticism, well, that's, that's from the, the opinion, latest too. season of Game of Thrones, I don't. I heard that the uh, not a lot of people didn't l- like the uh, the seventh season. I liked it a lot. They thought it went too fast. Thought it went too fast. That was a big to complain about it. So I feel it. Um. But anyway, I instead of talking about Game of Thrones it, itself, but I don't know. I brought up the Emmys because I read an article that only one Asian has ever won the, an Emmy. Who is that? Her name is Archie Punjabi in 2011 or 2010 for The Good Wife. Never heard of her, to be honest. Morning actress. So, yeah, right. She's not very famous. She was on The Good Wife. Maybe she's famous for, like, people who watch that show. Like me, I watch The Good Wife. But... Um, it's like a show about lawyers and, uh, that's it. Only one Asian has ever won an Emmy. You guys, you have any opinions on I don't that? Know. I say that that's how it is these days. I feel like we well, just live in such a racist. Like we know that. So I don't know why this is like, whatever. Wow. I mean, to be honest, there's not a lot of, I mean, I, I, like personally, I can't think of anyone on the top of my head who is like, and compared an actor like a, yeah an emmy actor compared to like meryl streep you feel me no but it doesn't have to be an actor i'm saying why like mindy callen could have won an emmy for writing in the office but is that but a, didn't, is that didn't it go award? to the other guy the bj novak she never yeah like she but she wrote some of the best episodes on that and she never got an emmy for it Did, and she was whoa, the only whoa. female writer pause did you guys? Uh, this is very off topic, but I need to bring this up before I forget it. Did you guys hear that uh, Mindy Kaling is trying to recreate, not recreate, but like 
make a couple more episodes about The Office. Did you guys hear about that? I thought that was fake. No, I heard that. that was, I guess that she confirmed it on Twitter too. Oh, uh, that's like a reunion. Not a reunion. Maybe I. I guess it's a quote unquote reunion. But I guess say she has a. She's trying to make a couple more episodes with it, with all the cast being in, part of it too. With Michael like being, yeah, Michael being in Denver or whatever, Colorado. Um, Jim being in Austin. Uh, whatever, like Dwight running Scranton. Like they're they're trying to like she's trying to make more episodes about it. And she, supposedly she said that um, it will be released by spring 2018. But honestly, like I don't want to get my hopes up. I don't want it to happen. That's literally. I don't, I don't want it to happen. happen. I don't think it should happen too. They should, they should leave it. Leave the office alone. Create a new idea. Stop rehashing other ideas. We the don't office, need to. See that's what's anything. constantly happening. Yeah. We don't need to see remakes. We don't need to see reboots. Create an idea, please. Thanks. But I. But like that being said, I know they're doing that with Will and Grace. They're like rebooting it for a season. But I really like that they're rebooting Will and Grace. I loved Will and Grace, so I'm excited. Like I feel like. I think that like. I don't know. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I feel like The Office hasn't been gone long enough for there to be like, oh, we're back. As opposed to, like, Will and Grace, who's been gone for a while. Yeah. You know? Yeah, there has to be some sort and of I grace think... period before you start rebooting stuff. Right. Like, like I, I, I agree. It's been like, close to 20 years for Will and Grace. Am I wrong? 20? No, it's ended in 2000, like what? Some Early 2000s. No, no, not 20 years. Sorry. Almost 20 years. You think about Friends. Friends ended in 2000, years. right? 2005? 2004. 2004. Okay. So then, sorry. Clearly my mind isn't working properly. So it, it hasn't been too long. No. Uh, Summer, is there something you're not telling us? <laughs> 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 yes, you guys are so weird. <laughs> you guys are weirding. Yeah. Nah, let's continue with the conversation. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you make it uh, so blatant, and you're gonna, how are you gonna just like, <laughs> how are we gonna switch over to another conversation? <laughs> um, Mother's gonna no, but you're right. I think there, sh- there should be a grace period with reboots. Um, like. Like, Arrested Development, I was excited for. Then it kind of failed, but I was excited for it. See, see now, okay, well, this we can quickly talk about Arrested Development. Um, I just want to say that even though people say the fourth season sucks, it's actually pretty good if you actually watch it from start to finish. If, no, it's... If, it's... You have, if you go into it knowing that this is basically a setup to a movie, then you, can, then you know that it makes sense. But they were yeah. Just, so basically, for each character, you're saying if you people know that it's a, you're saying if people knew that it was a setup to a movie. Well, movies, because yeah. I know they're creating a movie and they're also creating another season of the show. I think they're already filming it at, as we speak. If we go into I it also, knowing that okay, this is essentially a restart of this franchise, that it makes sense that they need to focus on each character a little bit, you know. Sure, I do think though that the writing kind of was stale in the beginning of the season, and then it gets better. That being said, um, I also think there's a difference between that and like The Office because. Everyone agrees that Arrest Development was cut short. It was canceled way too yeah. early. Whereas, so it became like a cult thing. Whereas The Office was people are the opposite. They think it was strung along too too far. They should have ended it earlier. Yeah. So it's like if something should have died earlier, then Don't like, why are you point. reviving it? Honestly, exactly. I, honestly, The Office is like such a well developed show. Like I'm. It was. It was. It's like I, I feel like they should not ruin how it ended because it was already getting bad towards the end i don't think they should extend it at like, all i mean like i think like you were talking about that show in like freaks and geeks like if they revamp that it'd be way different because it's like oh it only had one season and like that or like had the surprise that... a lot of people liked yeah but a lot of people liked freaks and geeks and they were so surprised that it was canceled it's the same thing with like community that people loved the show and then it died after the fourth season, right? Or fifth season, whatever it was. Yeah, a lot of shows get canceled after the third or fourth season and everybody you're like, This show is amazing. Why would you do that? And it's not just like my opinion or whatever, but like 
it's a very popular show and they get, they cancel it for some reason and then you're like wait we don't, yeah. don't get why it was canceled like like i there was a rumor was network exists. like there was a rumor that they were going to do a spin off for uh, of breaking bad with um Aaron Paul but like that's going to be so stupid like like for example better call Saul that's a spin off from breaking bad it sucks no it doesn't that's not doesn't suck all right well that's my opinion i guess <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really did you really think it sucks i mean it was it was dark all right it was good. It's not as good. It's not though. as good. You're always gonna compare exactly. it. Exactly. You can't compare it. You, you can't compare, compare it. it. It is its own thing. So that's my thing. Is if it's a, if it's a spinoff, you're gonna compare it. You can say you can't, but people oh, are cool. because what is it come from? It's Breaking on. Bad. Like for example, you know? I also so, like, heard rumors that like when the Game of Thrones ends, they're gonna make a spinoff. Like what? Like that makes no sense. They're gonna make prequels. Yeah, like they're gonna make prequels. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that would be well, cool. I yeah, I feel that. like that would be cool. I also think that we're obsessed with Game of Thrones, so we're like, yeah, Game yeah, of Thrones is probably the best show ever created in telev- television history. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> nah. How dare you say that? Full House was the best show ever. You mean Fuller House? Fuller House guys, sucks. I don't even know if you remember this. You guys don't even remember the TGIF lineup. <laughs> I, remember, I remember the TGIF lineup. I don't lineup. know if you... You guys were never a part of the history with when I Love Lucy came out, too. What? Like, or the Carol Burnett oh, show. Oh, those were uh, Bewitched, and like, those are classic, amazing shows. Which yeah. still play. Television's not the same anymore. It's not wholesome. The whole family can't watch exactly. it. You know, we there was no, we're going out Friday night, or, oh, we got to watch a movie Friday night. No, Friday nights were all about TGIF. You were what? You would eat dinner and bam, T G I F. You and the fam would sit down and watch. Then, Which we love. You see, uh, Boy Meets World. Oh my uh, God. Home Improvement. Steve Fresh Purple. Prince of Bel Air. No, that wasn't on T G I F. No. Um, oh. Step by oh, Step. There are more shows that I'm probably not naming, but they were a bunch of shows that you would watch on a Friday night with your family. Boy Meets World, man. They did Girl Meets World. And that was summer like. Actually, you know what? That's a, that's a good example of a show that was actually very popular. People watched it. It's been nominated for Emmys. Like every season's really? been nominated. Yeah, every season's it's been nominated for an Emmy. Actually, I think it's actually nominated because they talk about real things on right. that show. It's they talk nominated about this season too, but it canceled. Disney canceled it because Disney only has those three season contracts or whatever. Even though the show, how did Raven was so do more? popular? Raven had more than. Three Raven seasons. was gonna do a spinoff too. I heard. Raven is doing a spinoff. She did. I heard it's really good. Oh really? I heard it's like that's so Raven again, basically. I remember Corey in the house sucked. Well, Corey is now like a drug addict, so. Is he really? Then, no, no, that's her friend Eddie. That's oh. Eddie. Corey's is a Corey on, Baxter. No basically. Sorry, sorry. Basically, Corey. Corey. Corey was a little brother. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or Sweet Life and Zack and Cody, basically, they did Sweet Life on deck, and that was, like, their way of rebooting it. Yeah, that was weird. And Miley Cyrus, uh, Hannah Montana, she got, like, Hannah Montana, and then there was, like, Hannah Montana, New Beginning or whatever. It's the same show. Oh, yeah, they're making a, see, uh, a freaking, uh, not a spinoff, but, like, they're con- kind of continuing Hannah Montana, I heard, too. They're making another show. Because they're going, how she? Yeah, I know, but that's the. I don't know. Me, I don't know where I'm getting all these rumors from. To be honest, let me look yeah, this up. Seriously. <laughs> Before you yeah, say, let me it, quickly look this up. True. Let me quickly. No, but oh uh, yeah, that's that that. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I'm completely what, wrong. What summer? You're saying. Yeah, they can't really make a Hannah Montana spinoff without. Miley Cyrus. Yeah, Miley does not want to do it, so I'm, I, I'm incorrect. Ignore me. Yes. So, Man. anyways. The only reason why I want to reinforce the wholesome television, it'd be nice to be able to watch something with my mom again. Yeah, seriously. You can't watch really anything anymore. The only one you can kind watch, of watch is like, Blackish. I, not, mom was even annoyed with that. Remember when they were showing the ultrasound scene and she's like, what are you watching? I'm like, she's getting an ultrasound. Yeah, that's, I don't, in, that's in I, a bunch of, even in, back in the day. Like, you're going to always, like, Daisy parents are hard to watch. 
that's a wholesome show, pretty much. You're not, you don't, they don't really show anything. I feel like it's not mom's humor, though. For some reason, she What have you like guys it. been watching on Netflix? Uh, Summary, what have you been watching? I actually haven't really been watching too much. The only thing I've been keep, I, I'm not caught up with any of my shows. The only thing I've been keeping up with is, uh, what was Game of Thrones and, and now Suits. And that's it. Suits? Um, and now Suits. Is, is yeah. Suits worth it? The first, like, three or four seasons are amazing. We had this conversation. I remember this. No, it's because Moz wasn't on there. Wasn't on the episode. Oh, my God. (laughs) Yeah. Sorry, guys. But, uh, uh, it's okay. But, yeah. What are you watching? Well, I was, like, I was telling you guys that I was watching Seinfeld. I haven't, Scott, I haven't started a new show. I haven't started a new show yet. I've kind of just been like in this purgatory where I'm trying to figure out what my next show is going to be. So I've just been watching Seinfeld reruns. <laughs> That's pretty much it. That and, uh, and I, Little Jokers. So. <laughs> pretty I'm boring. not up to date with any of my shows that I've watched. The, actually, I lie. The only one that I kept up to date with outside of like Game of Thrones and Suits was Bones. And I finished that. So I'm done with Bones. But um, what I've been watching. um. You guys ever heard of Ballers on HBO? Oh yeah, Waste watches that. I like that show a lot. Uh, what else? Um, Vice Principals. You, I very like. I highly suggest that you guys should watch that. That it is hilarious. Danny McBride stars in it, and it's hilarious. It's on HBO. Vice. No, you know, I I think you will love it. It's hilarious. Oh, I know what it Well, I, I just remembered one show that I'm following is, um, you guys are going to find it really stupid. It's Rick and Morty. Like, I, I love Rick and Morty. Oh my God. This, if you, if that you're all, last episode? the last episode, I'm the, ooh, so ooh, 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 it's so good. And I can't wait for tonight's episode. See, okay, so people who minutes. don't watch Rick and Morty, they think of it as like, it's just a cartoon. But it's not. Is it really not? And it's no. not. It's not. It's, it's so no. good. The I. Guy, it's so smart. It's so intelligent. You don't realize it really? until you're watching it, but you're like, these are like really deep themes that they're going about. And like this past episode is basically talking about like corruption and racism and systematic, you know, like really all this horrible, terrible. Stuff. And everything. Not lie, no, I'm the first thing like I think of when I, I someone says Rick and Morty, I just think of like comedy, like a typical Bob no. Burger Family no. Guy type show. No, oh, see the thing is, so I have been the biggest cheerleader for this show because I want as many people to watch the show as possible because it's so freaking good, and people don't like people like I'm not I'm not blaming you, but I understand like people like you, Maz, who are just like oh it's just a cartoon, but it's not though. It is so much more because the so the uh, the writer of the show Justin Roiland and I don't remember Dan Harmon, Dan Harmon and Justin Roiland, these two guys. Especially, especially Justin Roiland. He he's a cert, He is an actual genius when it comes to like his IQ. He's an actual genius, but he he he, he does it and he plays all the characters so perfectly. And he does like he, there is behind the scenes where he gets drunk and he doesn't give a crap. He does he just he's so out there, but he puts all that genius into his writing and it's so good. And it's and like basically the reason why the last episode has been so good is because it's, it's a story arc that kind of picked up on the first season and like we there was a character that went away and we didn't hear about him and then he finally came back and you're like holy crap he's back and it's not like he comes back like hey guys you know it's like he comes back and it's like this terribly devastating way and he it's not just a cartoon like no i know samra has seen me watch it and she's like what are you watching i'm like i promise it's not like dumb like humor it's like really it's smart. a genius show it's so good everything it's also funny yeah it's it, yeah it doesn't help that it's actually also really really funny i tried start, <laughs> i go. tried We're starting it and i feel like it was just very maybe it's just the first season i don't know like it's just like, like I- yeah the first season kind of sets up the fact that it's like you have to understand the show is like if you combine back to the future and like any other like action sh- show it's basically that where it's like you have to understand there's a lot of multiple universes and this show takes place in a multiple universe area and it kind of jumps back and mm-hmm. forth and kind of they go into adventures it's not like it's, <laughs> it's not like you're supposed to get it though no it's you're not supposed like, to get it it's, it's really confusing but it's not 
it's like you have your storylines and they're funny and whatever, but it's also like I I know I just saw this interview with the one of the creators and how it, he's he talks I don't know it's it's a bit much and I'll I'll send it the video but it's basically like he's talking about how the show delves into the fact that like yeah they kind of go off about how the universe is like so infinite and it's meaning it's has no meaning to some extent that you feel like because it's the inf- I don't know it's really deep stuff and maybe I shouldn't get into it but I'll, I'll yeah, send you I'm gonna, the I'll, video if I have and, time. Uh, I have, I yeah, and if I have time, I'm going to try um, watching Rick and Morty, and if I do, I'll give it my reviews for the next episode. Maz, I'll come by to your school Hell yeah. and we'll watch it. Oh, aren't, I'm not even going this weekend to see him? Uh, This ne- uh, this upcoming yeah. weekend? Well, I don't know. Maz, uh, am I coming? This is something we should talk about off topic. Uh, off, off, uh, <laughs> off this episode. <laughs> I've been, I've been. No, I just don't want to but, um, talk about this in front of our Fob and Friends audience. No, 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 no. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, I'm like so advocating for Rick and Morty, but the show I'm watching is um, yeah. just the opposite. Let's see what happens, though. I mean, I feel like that's a great yeah. ending of this On the Rocks episode. Am I right or wrong? You're right. <laughs> I know we're talking about a lot of stuff, but like, we really haven't talked. Yeah, Mostly but like iPhone. that's a con- like something very huge that's going on. That Apple's running our country, and see what happens, I guess, huh? Apple's <laughs> <laughs> running country. That's so deep. Right. Okay, guys, I'm gonna challenge everyone with the on the yeah. challenge too. I won't make it. Let's weird. do that. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Well then. All right. On that note, follow us. Follow us on Fob and Friends on Insta and Twitter, and follow our Facebook page, Fob and Friends. Um, and cool, yeah. sounds good. Who is making that noise? Way to co- completely interrupt that. It's all Maz. I can hear his crackling on his thing. Sorry, I was yawning. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys Bye, later. Guys. Bye. Bye.